Hey friends, my name is Brooke Benton. Welcome to 8 Minute Total Body. We have 12 40 second exercises that you can think of as broken into three blocks. The first one is going to be wood chops, the second block is going to be lunges, and the third block, side plank and squats. We've got compound movement going on with all of those. You only need one piece of equipment, and that's one medium to heavy sized dumbbell. So go ahead and grab your weight, step your legs a little bit wider than hips width apart, turn on your core, shoulders back, head high, let's get started. For your first move, you hammer curl, press, grab with free hand and chop, back up, in and release. A lot going on there. We work the buys, we work your shoulders, grab, obliques, and in, repeat it. Super strong through the core, but as we chop, I want you rotating at your trunk, but keeping your knees facing forward. Because you have a core, your upper and lower body can move independently of one another. So much going on with this move. We work your biceps, we work your deltoids. Grab, we work your obliques and your legs. Moving on, exercise two is a halo to a lateral lunge and wood chop. So we go around the head, then step out and chop. The halo is for shoulder mobility, that lateral lunge with wood chop, it's for the strength and mobility of your lower body, especially the sides of your glutes. If you don't overthink it, you will naturally chop to the proper side. But if you want to overthink it, if you start haloing around your right shoulder, you step out to the right. If you start haloing around the left shoulder, step out to the left. And if this is all too much movement for you, take out the halo. Even though you're missing the shoulder mobility, you can still do lateral lunge and wood chop. Dumbbells now on the other hand, let's curl. Hammer curl, press, grab free hand over and chop. Back up and release it down, repeat. Hammer curl, press it up. Grab free hand, chop outside the knee. Careful, you have a knee there. If you clobber it, it's not gonna feel good. And chop. Very nicely done, repeat that. Hammer curl, press, grab, chop outside of the knee. Beautiful, try to get one more in. Hammer curl, press up, grab your hand, chop it down. All right, let's halo, halo to wood chop. You really do need some weight with some meat on it. Otherwise, you're not gonna be feeling very much with these exercises. This workout is intended to be done with a weight that's so much challenging for you. Halo, the timber, chop. When we step out to the side, it's called frontal plane work. The frontal plane is anytime we take your limbs away from the body. Most of us need to be doing more work in the frontal plane. We do a lot of what's called the sagittal plane, like walking, lunging board, squatting. Now move. Grab the dumbbell. We're going to kick back into a tricep kick back into a curtsy lunge. So you know we work the biceps on those hammer curls. We got to counter that by working the triceps here on this tricep kick back. On your curtsy lunge, try to take your shoelaces all the way down to the ground as opposed to grabbing the floor with your toes. The reason for that is it's going to force this glute to do tons of work to lift you up as opposed to getting that foot to help you by grabbing the ground. Okay? So the tongue of the shoe touches down to the floor. Very nicely done. We're going to take the dumbbell, cardio time, baby. We lunge, rainbow to the other side. You lift your heels as you rainbow. Now to make the cardio more intense, add a jump with your rainbow lunge. Oh yeah, baby. Heart rate's going to go up, 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 up. Whew. But that's a good thing. Spiking the heart rate up is amazing metabolic training. We ain't scared of a little hard work or a lot of hard work. If this is too much on your knees to add the jump or your low back or you're new to exercise, just don't get the jump. Here we go. Other hand, kick back. Try to say kick back, curtsy lunge. You can ignore the beat of this music. It is just for motivation. It is not for you to be moving to the beat of the music. Not today. Very nice. Use gravity to your training advantage. As you tip forward of those hips, then hit that tricep kickback. If your back is not vertical, 
but it is flat. Then courtesy lunge, touch your tongue of your shoe, down to the ground, and lift up. Guess what? Back to rainbow lunges. Here, lifting those heels, no twisted ankles. Four, here. You guys, we don't shy away from trouble. We don't shy away from tough times. We run head first into them because we know we have the strength to tackle it. We know we have the strength to do hard things. You're going to be shy away from trouble. <laughs> but we're not afraid to work hard. Moving on. Dumbbelling your right hand. Do one upright row. Touch the ground. Step up side plank. And lift. Man, a lot of moving pieces here. Repeat. Upright row. Step out to side plank. Lift up. If it's too much with that medium to heavy weight, do that with an imaginary weight. So just lifting your hand up as opposed to lifting the load over. Our shoulders are fragile, okay? You feel your back and your delts on that side lift. Now, hold the heads of your dumbbell. Long jump, so it's a squat and a long jump, turn around. Squat, long jump, press it out, turn around. Option, here, jump, yeah, high, out, try to go. Mary, go length of a mat. Your heart rate is up. It would be impossible to have a conversation. If I asked how you were doing, you could say, oh, woo, ouch, and that's about it. Other hand, we do an upright row. We plant, out, uh-oh, out, side plank. In, upright row, touch it down, Nicely done. So here we go. We're working the backs and shoulders. We're working the obliques and the rectus abdominis, which are your glamour ab muscles. Long jump. Come with me, baby. Out. Step and turn around. Or long jump. Jump and turn. Thank you.